All right, welcome back to the shop. So today we got kind of a fun little project. We got one of these uh, Milwaukee cutoff tools, and I've used this a little bit. It's a decent, uh, decent tool. It's been, uh, it's pretty nice to use, and uh, it's pretty. It's got a decent amount of torque for uh, for what it is. Um, you don't want to lay on it too hard, but like the Air Tool counterpart, it, it you know expectations that sort of thing so but we're not going to be using this in this configuration what I got let's get this other stuff off here and get that out what I got is an adapter to turn this into a band file so what we need is one of these Milwaukee tools this adapter kit adapter kit they supply you with a T8 tip with the kit which is nice but we happen to have a T8 screwdriver so we'll use our own T8 screwdriver and you have to buy a cheapy band file from that place let's take a look at that Got our 20 second warranty. Sorry, 90 second warranty. So here's the tool right here. Get rid of all that. And there's the sandpaper. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to remove this guy from here and then this will mount on our um, Milwaukee tool so let me get the uh, correct size Allen for that and I'll be right back and we're back with the four millimeter t-handle so that goes right in there we'll loosen that guy up now that is a clamp fit which is used for indexing on the pneumatic tool but we're not going to use any of that <clears throat> we're going to actually leave that just like that we're done with this so now that we have our parts harvested here we got to take this guy apart we're going to take our guard assembly off we're going to be careful not to lose all these screws because we want to be able to put the tool back to the other configuration We're actually going to reuse these screws. I, ju I just don't want to lose the plate and the guard. All right. So we can see here we have. A not square piece and they made this is custom machined by a seller on eBay they made a nicely countersunk adapter here which the holes line up wonderfully right like that and then we want to take our screws that we're holding that plate in and we want to um, carefully make sure we line the holes up and uh, the other thing that's a good idea a lot of times with these, unless you feel them start right, to run them backwards a little bit to make sure that the, the coarse threads aren't cutting new threads because um, you can wear out your plastic. Uh, these seem to be starting nicely. But uh, in this instance, we wouldn't want to you know, if we're changing back and forth between the, the cutoff tool and the band file, um, we really don't want to screw up our plastic from running these screws in and out over and over again. So you would just make sure you have them started in the right thread and don't cut new threads. So there we go. There's first part of the adapter. Now this guy can sit on there 
and that's a nice fit very nice fit so let's get this part on there and this part I guess I need to get the Allen wrench for that too I'll be right back okay so now we got our Allen wrench this fits in there nicely nice clearance fit not wobbly at all it's a good fit and then this is reverse thread so I keep that in mind when we set the screw here uh, it's not spline index but it really doesn't have to be it's just driving this belt and that'll be under spring tension so there we go that's a nice fit and there we go and this guy have to loosen up a little bit more there we go just like that yeah that fits on there nicely okay I'll leave it just like that for now set that and then this has a mechanism that you retract and then when the, the sandpaper's on you extend it. It's got a spring extender there. So there we go. So we can take our sandpaper get it started here like that get it on just like so grab ourselves a battery and let's try it out now there may be some um, adjustment side to side nope looks like it wants to run so here we go cordless Milwaukee band file absolutely love it handy tool to have in the shop this is a nice small um, version of it uh, for whatever reason you could reverse it if you wanted to I don't know why you'd want to but this is um, th this is going to be very handy uh, this is this is good so there we go new thing to play around with here you know, it's hard to get it all in frame here but there we go Milwaukee band file since they didn't make one somebody figured out a way to adapt a, an existing tool into one and I think that's that's great so uh, money well spent here on this conversion and this is going to be a super handy tool to have here in the shop so hope you guys enjoyed this it was a little quickie on a conversion and uh, Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you've hung around this long, you'll see bonus round footage, and the question is, okay, so you put this thing together, but does it work? Well, let's find out. Here's a rusty pipe, and uh, some mar marks on it there and everything else. Let's see if we can clean this thing up. say that works pretty good works quite nicely I must say so there we go 
I'd say that works. And that's one of those things where these band files are pretty nice to have because you can see this is really clean that dirty pipe up very well. Um, and it's got some nice texture to it as well. It's a nice looking job. It's not got the swirly gigs that you get from a regular grinder um, because it is sandpaper going in a, it's a mini belt sander. So it has a different peel. So let's see, I'll run it here um, in forward and reverse and we'll see if we get much of a difference. So this is forward. So I can notice from that that it's flinging the dust back towards me. So maybe reverse is actually going to be a little better. Let's see what we get here. Yeah. I think it's potato potato, but I think I prefer running her in reverse. It flings the dirt away from me, and I don't have to eat it all. So there we go. You can see we didn't really chew up the sandpaper at all, and this being the um, 3 8 by 13 inch sandpaper. So you can of course get whatever size you want. I just have the, the stock Harbor Freight sandpaper on it, and that seems to be doing quite alright. But uh, super excited about this. Got a nice cordless band file here. Uh, band file is a nice tool to have in the shop and having a cordless one. And even the smaller one like this is, uh, is a big plus. So thanks for hanging around, watching the bonus footage. Catch you in the next one.